everyone, this is Mary from SPG Cuts, and I'm here today with a brand new, really fun project for summer. Well, five different projects, actually. So, obviously we have our really cute little German bus here, which has a fun little peace sign on the front, so if you wanted to turn it into like, like a hippie flower child love van or something, <laughs> well, that sounds a little, a little too much, but you know what I mean or you know just any kind of color like these kind of come in all kinds of colors or you could even make it pink on the bottom or what have you so it's going to be really fun to put together and to give to someone they're going to think it's super cool so it's definitely the kind of project that will be displayed on a shelf whether you make it you know for yourself in your craft room or if you give it to someone so we also have our really cute little bottle holder here which was actually an idea by Tinley from our design team from Mod Papery and it's nice and sturdy. Every single part of it is like double or triple or quadruple thick. And the bottom has a nice piece of chipboard on the bottom too. So you could put these bottles in it, you know, four of them in there if you wanted to make four. Or you could also put real bottles in here as long as they're not like cold and like, you know, condensation and like all moist and everything. Because obviously that would get the paper all wet and then it would probably come apart. Um, if you put real bottles in here, obviously I wouldn't really hold it by the handle even though it's really sturdy for paper, but obviously you want to hold that by the bottom. And then you could decorate it for, you know, someone's birthday or like Halloween. You could get like a lot of stores now have where you can get, um, you can mix and match different kinds of beer and you could put that in there, get some Halloween beer or get some like really fun soda bottles that are like kind of retro or something. Or of course if you want to make your own, that is also super fun. You could put like four different treats in here or just make one and just put something fun in there too. So again, this could be, you know, like a beer bottle or a cola bottle or like fruity cola or, you know, like 7-Up or whatever, someone's favorite, um, you know, lemon lime soda or something like that. So we also have a cute little scrapbook page which has all kinds of fun like motion on it. And again, the cool part about this, I've done this before, and it's, it sounds intimidating, but once you, you do it the first time, you're like, that was so easy, I could do that all the time, um, to let your machine cut your photos for you exactly where you want them. So in order to see how that is done, I forgot to bring my little, uh, my little photo template out here, but you basically, you cut out a little template, you position it over your photo, you put it on your mat, and your, your machine cuts it exactly perfectly for you. So if you want to see a video step-by-step step on how to cut the photos perfectly, click over here and you can watch a different video for that. So finally we have some surfboards which are super cute and it's just a cute little simple gatefold style card and I just put some fun embellishments on there and that's it. So you know you could even take one of these surfboards, kind of like a project that Tamara from our design team did. She made a little surf van with a different kind of van and she put a surfboard on the top. It was really cute. So the paper that I used this time is by Bow Bunny and this is one of my favorite Bow Bunny collections. They really like knocked it out of the park with this one I think because the colors are awesome and the elements are awesome. Even this like underwater paper is so pretty. I just love it. So it's super colorful and full of like motion and fun and it just has the feel of summertime which is so colorful and, and fun. So they also have a little smaller pack of paper which is kind of nice. But like I always say, any kind of paper that you decide you want to use with your project is going to be awesome. So one more thing, I have these bottle caps which I got and I used on pretty much every project that I did and you could use regular bottle caps from a regular bottle or I was at archivers and I saw this I was like gotta get those like different fun colors of bottle caps so it's by bottle cap ink and you can put um, if you have the epiphany crafts shape studio tool round 25 you can fit a little epoxy thing in here perfectly and coordinate it with your paper and use it in a bottle cap or the bottle cap ink people also have these really jumbo like bling things that fit right inside the bottle cap too. So that's all kinds of fun embellishments that I had fun with. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how these three things go together. So let's get started. So first let's take a look at our bottle holder here. And I cut mine out of orange here because I think when uh, Halloween comes around I might decorate it for some scary beers. 
So we've got two pieces that look like this and two that look like this, which are almost the same. So what you want to do to all four pieces is simply put some glue on this side tab, which is on each of them. And we just want to glue it together like this. And the nice thing is you can actually just press it flat. It makes it easy to press your glue into place. So next, I want to put glue on the inside of these large tabs here and fold them in. And that just reinforces the top. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this other top tab here. And it doesn't matter if my glue is kind of messy. We just want to get that folded over so it's nice and reinforced. So again, same thing. This one's shaped slightly differently, but the same exact principles apply. And I already did it to the other two. So this is my final number four out of four here and again I will just stick some glue on this top tab and on the other one and glue those down so now it's actually kinda like a fun little little game here you can see exactly how it's supposed to go together so we can see that these two sides should go together. So what I want to do is put glue on this entire side, going all the way out to the corners so that the corners don't start to come apart. And I just want a nice, pretty even coating of glue. And then I will just do my best here to line it up and adjust it as I need to while it's drying here. And again, I can press this flat, which makes it a little bit easier. So, let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other two. And I'll just get a nice, even little coating of glue going here. And I'm just doing it real quick, not really very carefully, but it's actually totally fine. And again, I will just line up this other side like so. And as long as these are lining up like this, you know that you got it right. You're totally good. Okay, so again, I can press it flat which is nice. So I've got my two halves together and as it as I was waiting for my glue to dry it's nice because again you can fold it flat and really press down and then you can verify that everything is lined up really nice. So next I want to take my two pieces that look like this and I want to put glue on them and you can probably guess where they're gonna go. They are here to reinforce these two sides. There's really only two places you can put these two, so it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty obvious. I'll go ahead and put the other one in place real quick. You can take your time more than me, I just want to stick it in here. And then, as you could probably guess, we're going to take this piece here and glue it just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that part. You could just put glue on this whole surface here and this the back surface and then put your handle in place like this and line it up real nice. Or if you want you could put the glue on this side and on this side. So finally we want to take our piece, our liner piece and in your PDF, it also mentions um, you can cut a piece of chipboard to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I glued my liner onto the chipboard. That's optional, but it definitely makes it a little bit stronger. And I just want to stick this in there without gluing it down. 
And then I found the easiest way to hold this actually is to put it in my lap so that this can go down between my knees and then I can hold it flat in my lap because obviously I can't set it down on my table. And then we just want to glue this bottom into place by putting glue on all of these. Actually, if you put glue on just one side first, get it aligned, flip it away and put the glue on the rest of the sides, it makes it easier to line it up and then your thing is all finished. Then you can just go ahead and embellish it with these long strips here and these panels up here and here and maybe some fun stuff on the front. So next for our bottle here, first we're going to just do the bottom of it. And we've got 10 pieces that look like this. So all we're going to do is put glue on the side tabs of one of the pieces. And all 10 of these pieces are identical. So it doesn't matter what order you go in or which one you grab. So if you've done a project like this before with me, then you're going to be an old pro and totally familiar with how this works. We just go one tab at a time. And once it's got a good hold and it's pretty dry, then we move on to the next one until we get to the top. And you just repeat that with all 10 pieces until before you know it, you got your whole bottom done. So I already went ahead and pre-assembled some of these so you didn't have to wait for me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up right now. Okay, so I've got all 10 of my pieces together here and I'm just closing up the final seam, which is the same exact thing I did all the way around already. So it's nice and easy. So now I can just flip this over fold these over, put glue on all of these little tabs, and put the bottom right into place. And I'll need to like adjust it as it's drying, line it up as best I can. Then we can go ahead and put our little panels in place. And for these panels, I want to go ahead and put glue on pretty much the whole thing, all the way down to the bottom, all the way up to the top. And then I just want to line it up as best I can here and just press that into place. Then at the end, when you're ready, you can go ahead and add your label and your fun little decorations. So let's take a look at the top of our bottle. And again, I went ahead and started gluing mine together. And we've got 10 pieces that look like this. And again, it's the same exact thing that I did before but these pieces are just shaped a little bit differently. And as you can see, I've got, I've got a, it bent this way after the first two tabs here, and then one, two tabs from the bottom, it gets bent the opposite way too. So that helps if you get those going in the correct direction before you get started. And again, I'm just gonna go one tab at a time making sure that it's pretty much dry on one before I move on to the next one. And just working my way up to the top. And then all I'm going to do is the same exact thing with all 10 pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'm just closing up the seam here. I've got all 10 of my pieces together. And again, it's just the same exact principle, one tab at a time, closing it up, and it kind of starts to fall into place a little bit, which is nice. So once we've got all these tabs together, I'm going to go ahead and fold all the top ones over to glue my top into place, like so. Now this one I'm actually going to do because I want it in place so I can show you the bottle cap. So let's put this guy into place and I'll line it up as best I can but if it's not perfect it doesn't really matter too much because it's going to be covered up by the bottle cap. So let's get that into place here. And then for this all I'm going to do is put glue on the whole entire inside on all these little tabs and on the, the top and then I'll just put that into place and hold it down. And you gotta hold it while it dries and if some of these start to come off 
just lift it up, put some more glue in there, and hold that down. I had to do that when I did mine, so it could happen again. For this, uh, for this panel, there's 10 of these, and again, I'm going to put glue on the whole thing, and I'm going to line it up as best I can right on this panel here. And I'm not going to push down too hard because I don't want to like crease it or anything. I want it to look kind of smooth, but we'll just put it into place like this and go ahead and do that with all 10. And then you can go ahead and put your top label on and finish up your bottle. So next for our German bus here, I'm going to start with just the bottom. So first of all, we're going to put together the bottom. This one's red, obviously. My new bottom here is going to be blue. And I've got my pieces lined up here, and I wrote the numbers in. I darkened them in with a pen, but on your pieces, you'll be able to see the numbers too because your machine will have cut a number on each piece. So if it makes it easier for you, you can write you know, with a marker and darken them in too, but it's not necessary. So I've got them all lined up here, and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start putting them together just one at a time. So kind of like before, if you were watching how I put the bottle together, it's just one tab at a time here. And as one dries, then we can put the other one into place. So that is it. What you want to do is just go ahead and do that all the way around with all 12 pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and we can skip ahead together towards the end. So I've got all my pieces here 1 through 12 glued together and I'm just going to close this up now. It was nice and simple and straightforward. So we are almost done with our bottom here. So I've got these two into place and now we can flip it over face down here and what I want to do is take this and obviously glue it to the bottom and it doesn't matter this way or this way it's the same so instead of putting glue on all these tabs at once and gluing it down I want to start by going, putting glue on maybe just three of these because I found before when I was doing it, it was a little tricky getting it to line up if I did them all at once, which I usually like to do. But sometimes it's just not going to happen. So I'm just going to line one up at a time here, give it a chance to dry. Because if I start moving it too much before it's dry, obviously it's going to come out of alignment and we don't want that. So I've got my next tab into place here and this third one lined up nice and perfect. And I can go ahead and push down from the inside which helps. And then I want to put glue on some more of these tabs. I'm going to just get my little nozzle up in there and get some glue on these smaller ones. And I think at this point I can probably go ahead and get away with putting glue on the rest of it because it's got a hold on some of the most tricky parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on the rest of my tabs here. So I just want to carefully line them up and before it's, before it's completely dry, I'm going to flip it over and push down from the inside which will help everything to take hold. So I'm really just lining everything up as best I can here. It's going pretty well. And I want to just kind of hold it in place for a second so it doesn't slide apart before I flip it over and push those down from the inside to make sure everything 
is taking hold. So at this point, I can go ahead and glue my liner piece onto the inside. And again, it doesn't matter if you put it this way or this way, because it's symmetrical like that. And then we can go ahead and glue this guy to the bottom. And that's going to help us not only strengthen the bottom, but it's going to give us somewhere for our tires to go. And again, it's the same this way or this way. It does not matter. So go ahead and put glue all over this surface and glue it to the bottom here. And once that is in place, that's going to help us see exactly where our tires go once we get ready to embellish the bottom of our, our bus here. So at this point you can go ahead and take your tire with your hubcap and the white, the white wall, which you want to go ahead and first glue together the chrome, the white wall, and the tire for all four tires. Then you can go ahead and glue it right onto the front, just right like this and right like this. Then once those are in place, you can see really well where this panel goes. It's kind of hard to see this red patterned panel. And you can go ahead and put your bumper, your front bumper, your headlights, your other panel, and the back decorations on. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top of our bus. So next for the lid of our bus here, we've got, again, we've got the same kind of thing with all these different tabs which have numbers on them. And your machine will cut the number into your piece. And then I went ahead and took a, a fine tipped marker and I wrote over the numbers so that you could see them in this video. If you want to do that, you can, but you don't have to. It doesn't really matter. So I've got them all lined up like this. And I went ahead and I put my window panes in place on piece number one and number seven. So I would like to put my front and my back window panes in place, but I can't yet because I need to assemble the front and the back. So the back is 3, 4, and 5, and the front is 9, 10, and 11. So let's pick either one of those. doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to go ahead and grab the front, which again is 9, 10, and 11. And all I'm going to do is kind of what I've been doing for every other project here, just, you know, one tab at a time, working my way from the the bottom to the top and allowing it to to dry a little bit before I move on and doing my best to line it up so it's really the same principle but just different shaped pieces so all I'm doing is uh, just working my way from the bottom to the top and lining things up real nice and this is a slightly more challenging because, as you can see, some of these tabs are pretty small. It's still, it's still doable. They're just a little, a little tiny, which is slightly more challenging, but it's really not hard. So go ahead and do the same thing and glue piece 10 to piece 11. So I've got 9, 10, and 11 together. You can see the front is coming together. And then I want to take my vellum piece, which is a little bit, um, it just is a little bit larger. That's the front. You can tell if you just compare them with your piece. And all I want to do is put glue around the inside real carefully, just a really thin, thin, thin layer, because we don't want our glue to come, come squirting through the front, because you'll see it on the vellum. So we want to go ahead and glue our vellum into place. Go ahead and put three, four, and five together. Put your vellum on. And then just go ahead and do what, what we've been doing before, which is to go in order, one tab at a time. And as you can see, that's all I've done with my top here. It's just, you know, one tab, going around, working your way around, just like we've done before a bunch of times. So to put these panels in place, it's real obvious where these go and the front has some kind of wacky panels which I need to pick up off the floor here. So we've got we've got these for our panels and this time I cut mine out 
in plain white because I can't, this bicycle pattern is cool, but it's kind of a little too crazy. It might be nice to just have plain white. So clearly this piece, this panel goes like this for, you know, for decorating it. This, pretend like this is like my bicycle paper here that I have here. I'm just showing you where it goes. So the openings of these go towards the front. They do not go towards the back. They go towards the front. The openings do. And all you want to do is just glue that right into place. And these, the seam just kind of meets up. And once it's glued down, you don't even notice the seam. And then do the same exact thing for the other one. And just glue that real slowly around, doing your best to line it up as best you can. So there you have it, super fun projects for summer, or you could definitely adapt them to any time of year, any occasion also. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with these projects, and if you make any of them, I'd love to see pictures on our Facebook wall, in our forum, or on your blog, or Pinterest, or Instagram, or whatever. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting! Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. svgcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.